I want to talk a little bit about um, the difference between failures and fuck-ups. Like I'm on a bit of a workout program, bit of a diet regime sort of thing, and um, there was a day where I felt a little bit down, and I know a lot of people get this. You have one bad day, like for instance me, I hadn't sort of messed up at all. I'd been sticking to this thing rigidly, and I had a bad day where I ate a load of crap, I didn't work out, and what I did, I found myself the next day using the bad day before as an excuse to have another bad day so the next day I had crap and I didn't go to the gym. Being self-aware is really really important because it enabled me to listen to the voice inside my head and figure out why I was doing it. I was literally giving myself an excuse because what happened my brain told me that I'd failed. So basically, the voice inside my head said, oh, well, you failed now. You had one bad day, so you failed. So you might as well just keep eating crap and not going to the gym, right? But it wasn't a failure. That was just a fuck up. That was just a bump in the road. That was just something that I didn't do right that one time. But that doesn't mean I failed. However, it's really, really easy to let that voice in your head control what you do. Because if at that point it's telling you that you failed, and you might as well just give up now because you've got it wrong, you haven't done it perfect. Listen, none of us are perfect. No one's perfect, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect. There's no one that's perfect. We have to accept that we are gonna mess up. It's not gonna be all good and ups all the way up. There are gonna be bumps in the road and, and things that get in your way, temptations that get in your way. In all areas of life, this is gonna happen. You know, the really, really important thing is that we realize that that isn't a failure. Failure comes when you give up. That's the only time you can fail. You can't fear f***ing up, all right? You can't because it's going to happen. You're going to mess up all the time. But you've got to understand that that doesn't mean you failed. You just haven't done it this time. So all I had to do was own that. Because I became aware of it, it enabled me to switch pivot in my brain and say right that's it okay that's done now I've got to accept that and take responsibility that I have up but now what I've got to do is change it because you can always change and control what happens right now right now in this one second you can change what happens next you can't change what you've already done but you can accept it and move on and that's what I did so the next day I woke up back into the gym eating well again you know feeling great again more importantly and I just let it go. I let the fact that I'd messed up go. And that's really, really important that you let that past go. Otherwise, it's just gonna hinder the future. That's the real difference between failing and up. And I think it's really, really important that everyone understands that.